Hi, I'm Ted Snell. I'm the director at the Lawrence Wilson Art Gallery and it's my great pleasure to welcome you back to our first exhibitions after the coronavirus shutdown. We've got three amazing exhibitions for you. The first is Here and Now 20, Perfectly Queer, curated by Brent Harrison. We also have an exhibition by Drew Pettifer called A Sorrowful Act. And finally, we have Lee Kinsella, who's curated an exhibition from the Crothers Collection of Women's Art. Hello, my name is Lee Kinsella and I am the curator of the Crothers Collection of Women's Art here at the University of Western Australia. Our first exhibition will be entitled Unladylike Acts, which is an exhibition of recent acquisitions into the collection via donation, acquisition or gift. And uh, it's basically charts the way in which the collection continues to grow and change. We have video works, we have textile works, we have installation pieces. At the heart of it, it is about notions of societal expectations and roles based on gender and also how to talk up to power and how to kind of shake the foundations. Here in Now 20, Perfectly Queer is an exhibition of new commissions by eight local artists from Western Australia. Their works investigate themes to do with acceptance, visibility, community, family, but also living outside the binary of gender and the experience of being trans. I also kind of hope the audience looks at the history as well and how this exhibition is kind of like doesn't exist in a vacuum like there's actually quite a lot of history surrounding queer culture in Western Australia. So this project came out of um, some research I was doing around hidden queer histories in Australia and this little known history ultimately became kind of the first moment in uh, European queer history on Australian soil. Ultimately I've produced a quite a large multifaceted exhibition with photographs, videos, um, installation works and objects. We come to at least understand at a kind of physical level um, this history and engage with it and it contextualises the way we think about the past and in so doing recontextualises the way we might think about our present and indeed our future. There's a lot of information in these three exhibitions. I know you'll enjoy them and we look forward to you coming many, many times in the next few weeks.